All right, y'all. Well, this is uh, day one since after the fire. We haven't been to the property. We just, I mean, it's daybreak right now. We're going to start making our way to it. I know there's going to be a lot of road closures. We've already got Wes and the boys um, trying to basically find a way into the property around road closures. It's not going to be easy. We're going to be jumping in, uh, taking Chris's truck, my truck, in case Chris has to go scout ahead of me to make sure there's a road big enough if I have to turn around or not. We don't know what we're going to find. Um, hopefully we find animals. Hopefully uh, ain't too much damage to the property, but we just don't know. So a quick update, we just spoke to Dedek. Dedek actually bushwhacked the, uh, the K20 down in and he got past uh, all of the roadblocks. So Wes and the boys are gonna start hiking down to Dedek. Dedek's gonna be our shuttle to and from the property. Um, he did get word from somebody down there that there's been another road unlocked. Um, there's a lot of private roads and private gates over there. So we're gonna try and get some coordinates on that. Hopefully we got enough room to get the truck and or uh, horse trailer down in there. So as of this morning, there's 0% containment. I mean, you can see how smoky the valley is down here. Hopefully, uh, you know, I don't see any new smoke, but it's so thick. We've got the first roadblock here. Basically trying to get in between two roadblocks. I'm hoping, hoping this is the way through. It's gonna get a little narrow. I don't think the horse trailer is gonna like this. I mean, that's pretty narrow and kind of bushwhacky. I don't know if Chris is gonna wanna take his truck down there. I ain't gonna make him do that. It's a little narrow right here. I don't know if you wanna leave your truck up there. Oh, man. We're going for it, but you can ride with me if you want her. All right, well, fire's still burning. I just saw a bunch of firefighting planes out. Here goes nothing. Hopefully we don't ruin some paint jobs. It is a tight squeeze. All right, so we just got through this gate and uh, we're gonna close it back up because the property owner doesn't want people just coming through like crazy. Hope this road stays wide enough that we don't get screwed with the trailer. Yeah. All right, we made it to our last gate here. Hopefully this means we're about to get back on a paved road. Really bad for Chris, his truck is just absolutely dusted out. I mean, ours is too. I've been trying to use my truck to knock down any type of brush that would hit his truck because he's doing us a favor here. So, you know what, I know I just got this truck back from getting fixed and paint, but Hey, you don't need to get his truck scratched up. Guys, good news, we're back on the road. Bad news is we now see the fire still burning. See it right there, still going strong. We've got the fire staging area and their dozers. Well, here's our first sign of fire. You see they've been running dozers through here. These guys are trying to douse it. Someone want to bounce with me so they can bring this back? Yeah. Just go with them, Wes, because Chris is taking his truck. It's still burning right here. They're all filling up at my house. Okay. I've got a diesel powered pump out there. Gotcha. All right. All right we'll Truck, let's go in so we're not blocking the road for these guys. Well, this was our drive into the house. I mean, it burned right up to our road. Clearly, it's still burning. I mean, the crazy part is you still see these little tiny spot fires just going. I'm assuming at any point that could jump to the other side and just spark back up. It looks like our fence lines so far still good. Not sure how that happened. We watched the fire surround the property. We know for a fact the east side of the property is gone. Welcome to, I guess, Rhino Ranch east side of the property is pretty toasted. Uh, I know for a fact we got a broken gate and probably a whole lot of fence down. That whole side of the property is just burned. Oh, I see Willie! I see Willie and the other donks! Oh, we got a house. We got a bunch of donks. I see geese. I see a Dedek. You want the good news or the bad news? I don't even care anymore. Good news is well, bad news is you lost one rooster. Good news is every other animal's here. No shit. Yeah, good dude. Everything on that side gone. Uh, Willie was up there, but the rest of the pack was down there. We got the geese back in, and most no. of the, most of the chickens all in. One rooster died. One rooster Nick was dead. Good. The only problem is that you might have to rebuild. You're gonna, your yeah, front. you're gonna have to do your front door. Yeah. Because when me and Nick were here, we he he tore that thing down. Geese are pretty easy to corral. 
I got videos. But it's insane how close it got and just stopped. Like, the crazy part is this fence is like garbage, bro. Yeah, it's so yeah. dead and dried oh, out. Hey, guess what? I found out what was in those 55 uh, gallon drums. What was it? Up. Black paint for your fence. No way, really? Yeah, it was black paint. Yeah. Paper across the street was like, yeah, that's just black paint. And I was like, well, we saw it go 30 feet into the sky. This is insane, uh, guys. We just went with water and we're putting out hot spots, so we gotta just keep doing that. There's a bunch of hot spots still. Yeah, we're gonna grab a rake and take them all out. You wanna throw one of these containers on the flatbed and fill it? We had, I, I was using your trash can in the pool. Okay. We will have gravity feed from the tank. Yeah, what's the left? The pool's full. Did you see your fucking, uh, your pump house? Gone. Oh, like, gone, gone. Completely gone. I gotta go say hi to all my animals, man. I did not think I was gonna see you guys again. What's up, Bubs? Oh, I can see you're panting, man. You good? Barbecue, you good, baby? Thank God you didn't become barbecue. Hi, right, goats. I missed you guys. Jeez, I mean, just that whole side of the property. Big wall, buddy. What's up, man? I know it's been scary here, huh? Big Willie, other donks. Hi, right, guys. Has it been crazy and scary for you? I'm sure. Absolutely insane, guys. I did not think I was gonna be coming back to this. Biggest relief of my life right now that the animals are all good. Houses can be rebuilt. We only known these animals for three weeks, I think. I love animals. I get attached quick. Oh, gee, look at the other side of the property. Absolutely devastated. When you can see cutting fire breaks around your property works. If it wasn't summertime and I wasn't worried about being the guy to spark up a fire, this would have all been cleared already. You can see there's still fire on the mountainside up there behind me. There's two planes right now coming in, doing drops. I mean, we're still kind of not in the clear, but we're kind of in the clear. Dude, those big planes are absolutely insane, but they're trying to keep it from coming back down that side of the mountain. <laughs> Everything, I mean, it's hot. Still very hot in here. Um, well, it looks like we lost. No, did we lose the power line? We had to lost the power line. Yeah, we lost the power line. It's crazy because they're actually supposed to, uh, in two more days, come replace the power lines on the property. The fire's flaring up over there pretty good. Fire back up over there, flaring up. You see, there's uh, 55 gallon drums right there. We didn't know what was in those. Those came with the property. Um, when Dedek and Nick and Steiner and all the guys were in here um, on like the last ditch attempt to get the animals. That actually, uh, those blew up. So I've been going around the property trying to do a uh, damage assessment. We lost hundreds of feet of uh, fencing. The whole property was fenced. Somehow though, I don't know how, but you could see the fire came right up to the guest house. I'm guessing a lot of this was blown over embers, but it burned pretty good there. One of the posts on the fence and this cactus, and you can see just a little bit on this little patio cover here, post got burned. How we got saved to where the guest house didn't go up, we have no idea. We got Chris over there, Steiner over there. They're running that fence line to see how much of the fence got burned down over there. The whole east side of the property is just toast and gone. Um, we lost our pump house for the well, which is weird that none of the trees around it <laughs> got burnt down, just the pump house itself. We ain't got much for water out here now at this point. This is all pretty toasted. It's amazing that <laughs> one of our most important vital life sources out here gets burned down. But the old dried out bench thingy right there, not touched. Well, you can see the fire just came in behind all of this. Pretty much east side of the property, totally burned. Uh, west side of the property, totally burned back towards the house. And thankfully, the house survived. Honestly, looking at it, it looks like the animals would have been pretty safe if we kept them penned up. But it just wasn't a risk I was willing to take. I mean, look at the guinea hens are here. I still see the peacocks. What's up, peacocks? What's up, geese? Chickens, everybody. We gotta get some water to you guys. You guys are hot. Cow fire trucks that we're all loading up. Maybe more than that. Yeah, There's look at that. That's blazing. That's I the know. bad. That's the worst spot right now. You can see that up, from all, up on the hill, too. So we've commandeered the near, uh, neighbor's Polaris here. We're using the water out of the swimming pool here to put out hot spots around the property. Oh, great. I get the one with no hands. Use it sparingly because we only got a half a swimming pool Look full like of water. Brian. Look like Brian didn't got back from the gym. Is he warm under there? All I know is, uh, hey, we know what the property looks like now, guys. Oh yeah. Good thing we didn't just tear through with the jeep because these trees don't go down. A note from Cal Fire saying, "Yo, we're supplying the water. 
let him get his truck because he has diesel to refuel the pump. And I was like, yo, we got to grab one more car at the bottom of the hill. So I drove through the cones. I can get chicken wire or barbed wire yeah. so we can make temporary because there's no way we're going to be able to put this much fencing up. Want to put some on there? Okay. Oh, yeah. Wes, I hate to break to you. Wasn't this your uh, wood pile you are going to sell? Yeah, hey, Wes is gonna sell this here. Let's get this away from any of the any of the stuff that's gonna burn. Right? There, there's an actual fire right there. Yeah, I see it. Where? Right, right there. there on the side. Oh. All right, D Max Steiner here. Well, Wes and Justin, we're going to get the big water truck. We're about to work, put all the fire out. The water yeah, get truck. that K30 right there. Oh, look at Dedek, that. Dedek gonna be wishing he had a K30. Ain't got and he got, he got 450 gallons nothing of water on, on his head. Here's the water tank we about to hook up to. The SoCal 6.2 got it? We gonna see. He got it. We gonna see. All right, we got her all hooked up. About to go to the farm. Pass the shoe test. Oh, hella flush, hella flush. All right, we're back. We got the trailer hooked up. So I'm leaning a little bit. Just a little bit? Just a little bit. A little squat. Truck's struggling a little bit, but we're getting it. We yeah. slipping on dirt. How's it feel? You even know anything's back there? <laughs> oh, I know something's back there. You sure you feel that? That pedal hitch is like. For all your firefighting needs, be sure to contact work for a fire department. Always here, always ready. Road box, we don't care. Bro, I don't have my stand -by. Fire department already on scene. Y'all need to stop hating on them on social media. They're doing their jobs. We squatted 20,000 pounds on the back. Squatted. 12 inch lift, still towing. Can't be stopped. Uh, look, it ain't nothing. Hey, it ain't nothing. D-Max Steiner on the job. It ain't nothing. All right, I know y'all hate me, so here's Ryan with the sticks. Lord, that's some freaking That's some water. Hey, anybody watching? What, what year's your truck? 12. 12. We need a bed and a bumper for 2012. Justin had a, he ran into some barbed wire on his way trying to get out to the ranch here, so. I know a lot of you guys got some resources. If you can find one, let us know. Hit him up, what is it? Uh, Mr. Clean 6-6, right there. Now we got the water trailer. We we're getting hooked up to Justin's truck. He's got 2,500, so it was uh, squatting the crap out of West's truck. It was starting to drag on the ground. We're gonna keep running around now and just putting out any hot spots we can. I don't know how many gallons of water we got here, but probably a thousand, maybe more. Right there, that black smoke's close. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we gotta get water over there. Yeah, 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 no, that's most important. The trail to the left is open. That's right there, dude. So we're chasing. See some black smoke that just flared up. We got the water truck. Water truck's coming. This crew's up here. I don't know if they, they're gonna have to get it on this road. Hey, we need water up here! To go out and get the truck on this road. Hey, bucket! Bucket! Looks like we lost a good portion of fence on this side of the property. A lot more than I had thought. This road was a good break though, but see it's starting to grow by Steiner over there. I don't even know if we got. Hoping we got enough hose and we can get the truck up here. Whew, it's hot in here. Oh yeah. Look at it. What is it? It's an old tire or something. I got most of the fire out, but I'm like out of water. Oh, it is a tire. You all right? Yes, it's hot! <laughs> you ain't gonna get much further! We might have to bucket it! It's one big tractor tire, it's half out! Okay. We just need buckets! Buckets will work, it's not, it's not that big. It's just one tire. Sure? It's a big old tractor tire, Steiner already got it half out. Damn, that whole shit caught right back up. Dude, tires are the worst. There's still a lot of rubber on it. So we can see right now on the peak of that mountain out there, we got flames again and this whole smoke cloud's been getting bigger. That's back on the east side of our property.
But at this point, we're just kind of standing watch again for spot fires on our property, but the mountainside behind us, you can see, I don't know if you can see that streak of red, they're dropping retardant, trying to hold it off on the mountainside like they should have done yesterday to ever keep it from getting over here. But we're just worried because our side of the valley has burned. That side hasn't, our whole front side hasn't burned yet. So if that happens, it's just gonna rip through here. There's so many oak trees. Still on high alert. We ain't in the clear yet. Smoke's really starting to pick up over here. All you wildland firefighters out there. Appreciate the heck out of you guys. This stuff's no fun. We got Dedek over here, making sure all the animals are comfortable and clean. Look at that, good work, buddy. Brushing them. You guys all right? And we can confirm, this one is the baby. Unfortunately, but fortunately, it was only one casualty. Somehow, some way that we know of was uh, the biggest rooster. We're not sure if an animal got to him or or what happened. All the other animals survived. We used the water trailer. Um, we just got them some fresh water. We got Black Dolly over here. He's gonna he's gonna bury the poor guy. But careful on that fence. I don't know, yeah. I don't know if that thing will hold you. We got fern coming through. Bringing all the boys food. We got the assembly line. All my, all my firefighters here today. Oh, we eating good today. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Great work, Fern. Appreciate you, buddy. Whoa, man. There's a bright light over here. Woo. We're running about, I don't know, 100 feet of hose now from the water trailer. We've got to hook up the Burton's truck. We've got all the animals penned for the night, being that we ain't really got a fence anymore. So we don't want them wandering off. So far, so good, but we don't want them to start getting curious. We did find the donkey on the neighbor's property over there, so. We're gonna keep everybody pinned up. We're gonna get them all some fresh water since we ain't got a pump um, to pump out the well. We're using the water trailer and uh, luckily we got some good neighbors with some good equipment and uh, a lot of water because we got none. You guys can see fire is still going. Uh, day is kind of getting over here. We're gonna leave the, the big water trailer. The neighbor's been generous enough to let us leave that because that's the only source we got for water for the animals. The animals are safe up in there. Um, everything around it's burned. They ain't gonna get over there no more. So we're good on that. Uh, we're gonna go with Fern. We're gonna go try and feed the neighbors. He's uh, he's got the barbecue. Yeah, we got some we got some brisket. It kind of it kind of. So we took the back roads. We got brisket and chicken, and uh, it's spread everywhere because these guys want to go four four wheeling. You know, all these guys volunteered to come out today. I'm not good at asking for help. They made it so I didn't have to ask for help. They all just came out. I've been in this neighborhood for all of about three weeks. All the neighbors. We've had every single neighbor coming over, helping, lending a hand, bringing us food if we didn't have it, offering us water, air conditioning, beer, whatever it may be. Uh, definitely, definitely really feeling a sense of community. And again, in my circle as well, I got a lot of really good friends, family. Everybody has stepped up, put aside their whole weekend to come out here and help us. I know we got a lot of fence to rebuild. We got to get a new, uh, new well house built, but again, we're safe. We got a house and our animals are alive, which is like, that's that's priority numero you know? So ain't nothing we can't overcome, guys. And again, a huge thank you to all you guys for reaching out. I know everybody reached out on Instagram. I've been trying to give as much updates as I can because I know it sucks being in the dark. We don't have a whole lot of good cell phone service. So I can't keep updating everybody, but I appreciate every single one of you that's reached out. Everybody, the strangers that came out and brought us horse trailers, um, people that were running into the fire as even we were running out. It's been a, it's been a heck of a humbling experience. I appreciate everybody, and yeah, I, I just don't know how to say thank you enough. There's nothing I could do to repay everybody. Just nothing. Well, that's gonna be a wrap on today, guys. Um, again, just huge thank yous, thank yous to absolutely every single person um, that has helped out, reached out, you guys, everything. Uh, we're very lucky. We're very fortunate. I can't complain. People have lost houses out here, so so we're gonna be okay. We'll rebuild. That's all we can do. Thanks for the support, everybody.